if you're following Depth vs. Heard, you probably know there's some publications that go to bat for Johnny, some against Johnny, and the same thing for Amber. This one here is very pro Johnny. They're called Fandom Wire. I've covered them before, and this article is called That's Why He's the Goat. Fans Hail Johnny Depp's Heroic Act of Spending Nearly $50,000 on 500 Coats to Keep Pirates Caribbean Crew Warm. It's from around January 15th, 2023. Let's see what they got here. And nice little picture there. They must have photoshopped. It begins. Johnny Depp sure is one of the best actors of this generation. He has made a mark with his contribution to the entertainment industry, a mark that will be remembered for years on end. Even though he has an enormous acting career linked to his name, we have something else to talk about today, his enormous heart. Talk about positivity. That sounds good, but it also sounds true, which is important. I can't imagine NBC or Newsweek or Rolling Stone saying something like that. So, good for you, Fandom Wire. Giant Depp is now no longer part of the Pirates of Caribbean franchise despite having played Captain Jack Sparrow in five movies. This certainly came as a blow not only to the actor's fans but also to the cast and crew of the franchise. After all, having worked on the film for years and years, they were bound to become closer. Giant Depp loved his crew so much that he emptied nearly $50,000 out of his own pocket for their well-being. Filming through the cold gusts of wind in British winter must have been one big ordeal for the crew and apparently Giant Depp understood that. In a big gesture of love and appreciation, Depp went out of his way to purchase warm coats for the crew members of the Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. The crew in question was large in number going up all the way to 500. This gesture of Depp has fans going all heart eyes for the actor and calling him a true captain. And yes, to be honest, that's a great way to describe it. That's very captain-like to do. They also feature this from Film Facts on Twitter. It says, on the set of one of the Pirates of the Caribbean films, Johnny Depp spent 40,000 euros on 500 coats for the cast and crew. And this person, Blake, says, the GOAT. I think that's one of the first comments and maybe where they got the idea for the article title from. And it continues. Winter clothes do not come cheap. The said coats cost Depp about $50,000, which he paid for with his own money. Apart from the coats, he also bought them wallets imprinted with his Sparrow tattoo. Talking to Daily Express, Kevin McNally, who played Mr. Gibbs in the five movies of the franchise, vouched for his friend's generous action. He bought the entire crew coats, the cast didn't see any coats. I think he didn't want to spoil us. He also did get the entire crew some very nice wallets imprinted with the tattoo he has on his arm. Johnny paid out of his own pocket for all 500 of us to have a nice warm waterproof. It's a great morale boost and another example of why he is one of the nicest people in Hollywood. So, okay, I'm imagining he bought them for the people actually taping the ropes down for the cameras, the people in the makeup room, and things like that. But it looks like he bought them for all the other actors, too, who could obviously afford their own coat. So, that makes it even better. I mean, this guy's a co-star. He had a decent role in the movie. We don't know if Depp will ever play Captain Jack Sparrow ever again, however... More such kind instances can certainly be expected from the big-hearted actor. Anyway, there you have it. Just a fun little report. Obviously, no deep dive here, but it's a character build. That's what I've been doing here on the channel. I've got plenty of videos on Johnny, and this one just adds to the positivity and good treatment we've seen him give people. And the people who accuse Johnny of bad things, well, let's just say... We haven't seen proof of that. So I'd say it's 99.999% positive. I guess Johnny wrecked a hotel room like 20 years ago and he did some drugs. But, you know, pretty forgivable. Actually, kind of funny maybe. Anyway, if you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Shout out to Cindy Bryden. She sent me this. Doing pop culture, entertainment. If you don't subscribe, I'll be sad. But I'll get over it. See you next time.